Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so for today's video, I have my kind of semi-late uh, September melting basket. Um, I am, I just got out of work, so I'm still in my uh, work scrubs. So, but I just didn't feel like changing yet. I just wanted to get this filmed before I started to relax for the night and then I would not feel, feel like filming it. So we're just, we're just going with the work clothes today. So um, I do have my melting basket here. I just have everything in one of my Bath and Body Works uh, boxes here. So yeah, we're just gonna jump right into it. If you are new, welcome. If you are not new, thank you so much for stopping by again. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna jump into my September melting basket. I am all about fall now. As of September 1st, I was all about fall, but unfortunately here where I live, it decided that it was gonna be in the 90s all week this week. So uh, I'm kind of a little upset about that, but I'm still going with fall. I don't care. But when, as soon as you walk outside though, it does not feel like fall. And I can't wait for to walk outside one day and just be hit with that nice, crisp, cool air. That is what I'm hoping for. So in no particular order, we are just gonna start going through. I have a very ambitious box here. I know I am not gonna be able to get through everything, but that's okay. I just wanna try to at least make a dent in my stash all right so on top here i have an ice cream scoop melt and resting witch phase from scoopable this has notes of apple pumpkin marshmallow zucchini bread this is one of my absolute favorite fall scents mm. it is so good i love the apple and the pumpkin and the zucchini bread in here is just amazing so I should be able to at least finish up this ice cream scoop, but I do have some of my mini melter bag from Rose Girl still, and I also have a scoopable in that scent as well. So uh, from Dess's, I have Apple Barn, which is Granny Smith apples, Macintosh apples, fall leaves, oak barrel, and barn wood. And this is just one of her tile shapes, so I should be able to get this one finished. Mm. Her Mac apple in the oak barrel is so good. So that is Apple Barn. It doesn't want to close. All right. Next from Dess's, I have Bonfire of the Pumpkin, which is toasted pumpkin, roasted marshmallows, and smoky firewood. Mm, this is just a nice smoky pumpkin scent really like that i'm not going to smell all of these because then we'll be here forever but all right next from britta's i have casper which is pumpkin pecan waffles vanilla pumpkin marshmallow apple apple cider donut and vanilla bean marshmallow and this is one of her cute little ghost shapes so that's that one and my other one from Britta's is Beware the Purple Peanut Butter, which is peanut butter cookies, grape jelly, and sweet bakery dough. I've never really tried a peanut butter scent, but I am curious to see what this one's like. It's a little skull shape, so that's gonna be interesting. Let me just smell this one. Mm. You really do get the peanut butter and the grape jelly. It does smell just like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, so I'm curious to see how that one does on warm. I have a couple samples in here from Southbound. Uh, this is pumpkin season. This is pumpkin butter, vanilla bean, pretzel, honey, graham cracker, pumpkin pie, toasted marshmallows, and smoked woods. This is from my fall slash Halloween sampler that I had gotten last year and I didn't melt through everything. So I wanted to melt through some more of that sampler and get try to get the sampler used up this season. Next is fall flannel, which is vanilla bean, tonka, smoky woods, caramel, clove, and fresh clean laundry. And I think the last one in here from Southbound is witch please. Crunchy caramel, brittle, salted peanuts, toasted pumpkin seeds, and vanilla buttercream cupcakes. And this is just a little go shape. I, ha I haven't ordered from Southbound in about a year. I think the last time I ordered is when I ordered this sampler. So I'm interested to try out the wax again and see how I like it and see if it's a vendor I wanna you know, purchase more from in the future. Oh, I lied, I have another one from Southbound. <laughs> pumpkin crunch cake, creamy pumpkin pie filling, rich condensed milk, baked yellow cake, melted butter, pecans, and spice. 
that's that and it's just a little pumpkin shape this one sounds amazing so i have to smell it mm. and that smells really good mm. you definitely get that pumpkin pie filling mm. and the spice i don't really get too much of like the condensed milk or the yellow cake but i do get the pumpkin pie filling in the spice so that one will be interesting Next here from Dess's, I have Cinderella's Pumpkin Carriage, which is pumpkin, caramel, bear claws, waffle cone, Bavarian cream. And this is in one of her breakaway bars. This is a nice, nice pumpkin. Mm. You get the bear claws with the pumpkin and a little hint of the caramel. So that is Cinderella's Pumpkin Carriage. Next from Dessa's, I have pumpkin pie, which is creamy pumpkin puree, cinnamon, ginger, and cloves baked in a buttery flaky pie crust. And this is when she used to do her four packs, which she called baby cakes. Mm. And it literally, it just smells like you just baked a fresh pumpkin pie. So I'm very interested to melt that. From Dessa's is Creaky Cauldron, Cider Lane, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Hint of Smoldering Firewood. I only have two pieces of my breakaway bar, so I'm really just trying to get this finished up. Next from Sassy Girl, I have one of her small bricks. This is Pumpkin Firewood, a super unique pumpkin fragrance with crushed clove, cinnamon, and sweet pumpkin. Next from Sassy Girl, we have Witch's Cauldron, which is apple, pumpkin, and spices blended together makes the perfect witch cider. So there's that. And then this is just her bag of blocks. And this one smells so good. Mm, this is like the perfect like apple cider scent. Really good. Can't wait to melt that one. Next from Sassy Girl is a new favorite of mine. It's called It's Fall Charlie Brown. And this one has notes of apple, pumpkin, strudel, and zucchini bread. Mm. This is just the most delicious apple, pumpkin, and zucchini bread. You get all three notes and it is just like apple bakery heaven. I cannot wait to melt this. Next from Sassy Girl is Oaf. And this is toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores, roasted pine cones, smoked vanilla, sugar cookie, and marshmallow. So it's basically her beach nights mixed with uh, pine cones. And uh, this is one of my favorite beach nights blends of hers. This is so good. You get the beach nights, you get that roasted pine cone. And I also do get the smoked vanilla note. Like this is so, so good. Definitely a fall staple for me now. Continuing on with Sassy Girl, I have She's a Little Mermaid, which is Mac Apple, Cotton Candy, Crisp Ozone, Salty Sea Spray, sun, Seaweed, Sun Weather, Driftwood, and Whipped Cream. To me, this can kind of be like an all year round scent, but because of that Mac Apple, I wanted to throw it in here because this is just a beautiful Mac apple blend. Sorry, I feel like I got wax up my nose now. Oh, this is such a good Mac apple. I love this. I would definitely repurchase this once this brittle's gone. Next from Sassy Girl, I have IHOP. So this is pumpkin pecan waffles, maple syrup and brown sugar, caramel and coffee. So this one I'm trying again because I know this is like a, a favorite among many from uh, Sassy Girl. But when I melted it last year, and it smells so good on cold, but when I melted it, I got like nothing from it. And that's the first time that ever happened to me with Sassy Girl. But it smells so good on cold. You get the pumpkin pecan waffles, you get a hint of that coffee, the maple syrup. Oh, it is so good. And I'm not usually one for coffee scents, but since everybody was raving about it, I said, let me just try it. And it really is good. So I'm hoping that I get better performance with this this year since it's been sitting now for a year. It's had plenty of time to cure. Next, I have Halloween Night, which is Leaves, Bonfire, Bliss, and Toasted Marshmallow. Next, I believe I was gifted this from Summer. This is Fall Bakery, which is zucchini bread, pumpkin, cookies, and apple pie. 
This is just another really good apple bakery. Love it. And then last here from Sassy Girl. Oh, nope, I lied, I got one more. <laughs> Carrie's Sister, Bonfire Bliss, Marshmallow Fireside, Sandalwood, and Vanilla. This one is just a very nice Bonfire Bliss. That's what I get mostly from it is the Bonfire Bliss and it's so good. And then last from Sassy Girl is Butter Your Buns, which was also a gift from Summer. So thank you, Summer. Salted butter, slight hint of cinnamon, quickly melting into a fresh from the oven steaming buttery biscuits. And this is so good. Mm, you get that melted butter with the slight hint of cinnamon and the biscuits. This one is phenomenal. Can't wait to melt that. I have a couple in here from L3. I have a scoopable in Season of the Witch, which is our highly sought after apples and leaves blend. And this really is, it's just apple and leaves. It smells just like the candle from Bath and Body Works. So good. Next up from L3 is Guillotine, which is Blackberry Cider Lane and Farm Stand Apple. Yep, and you get the blackberry and that cider lane. So, so good. So that is guillotine. Next from L3 is Overlook Hotel, which is cider lane, toasted marshmallows, and smoky fireside. I can't remember what shape this was, but it, I had already cut up and ready to go. And then last from L3, I have Mike Myers. Welcome home, Mikey. Cinnamon sugar cookies, caramel apples, and leaves. And this is just one of her little pumpkin shapes. And then I have a couple in here from Scentsy. I have one here called Cashmere Pear. I know this was like the bring back my bar, I think from June. It smells good on cold. I wanna warm it because my next Scentsy Club processes on like the 22nd of this month, I think. So I'm trying to melt through some of the stuff that I have to see if I wanna keep it in my club or not. So we'll see how this one does on warm and if I wanna keep it in my club. The next one I also wanna melt uh, to see if I wanna keep it in my club is called My Wish. I'm not sure what the scent notes are on these, but I know this has fig in it. Fig and something else. I can't remember. But this is another one. It smells good on cold, but we'll see how it, do, how it does on warm, see if it's anything, you know, amazing that I need to keep in my club. So that is My Wish. Next I have Coconut Pumpkin Pie. It smells good. It didn't wow me on warm and I haven't warmed it yet. So, I mean, on cold, so, but I haven't warmed it yet. But we'll see. I already took this out of my club because it didn't like wow me on warm, on cold. It just smells like a basic like pumpkin scent. So we'll see about that. And then the last thing I have in my melting basket is the Hocus Pocus Sanderson Sisters Perfectly Wicked. I've only melted one cube of this because I wasn't overly crazy about it. I know it's supposed to smell like the uh, Lost Cherry from Tom Ford, and I've never smelled that perfume, so I can't make that determination. And it smells good, but when I melted that one cube, it just comes off very perfumey to me. And I don't know if I really like the perfumey scents, but yeah, so I melted one cube from this. I also have another full bar of it too. So I don't know if it's coming back this year, if I happen to melt it and fall in love with it again, if it comes back this year, then yeah, I get to put it in my club. So that is Hocus Pocus. And that is all I have from this, to me, is a pretty massive melting basket because I usually only have like three warmers going at a time at the moment. So it, it does take me a while to get through my wax. So I'm hoping to at least make a dent in this. And if not, I'm sure there'll be plenty of scents I can roll over into my October melting basket. So yeah, that is all. So let me know down below. What are you melting for the month of September? Are you in fall mode? Are you still kind of like the tail end of summer? Let me know what you're melting down below. And if you are interested in more content on melting and candles, body care, then I hope you stick around and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.